Hi everyone, this is Bakari again with Mac Automation Tips, and I'm coming back to do another little tutorial about um, Better Touch Tool, uh, really because I really like this program and I kind of just want to get some more tips on it. So basically, um, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about using Better Touch Tool in Safari. As you know, you can have uh, what's called global, um, you know, global gestures and actions assigned that happen globally, and then you can also duplicate some of those gestures and actions or create new ones in specific applications. So this is really great. Let me give you an example of what I mean by that now. If I want to call up, um, you know, if I want to bring Safari to the forefront, I do what's called a three-finger tap. All right, now that means that because I did that, I can use the three-finger tap again for something else because I've already used it globally for to bring up Safari and it's not going to conflict with anything else so once I'm in Safari why not use it again so what I do with that is that I can do what's called a three finger tap again on a selected link and it will open it up in a new tab so I select the link as you see here do a three finger tap and it opens it up and selects it in the tab over here you see so so that's one way I use it. Another way is I want if I want to select um, previous and next tabs, what I do is I do my um, one finger down, then my index finger, I tap it, and it'll take me through the different tabs here. And uh, and then if I want to do the um, if I want to go, say I want to get rid of tabs, you know, kind of close them out. What I do is I put two fingers down and I just tap and close them out. And if I want to add a new tab, I just put three fingers down and I just tap here with my index finger again. And that creates a new tab for me. So um, those are some of the things that I do with, with this. Um, if I want to go between pages, let's find one that has, okay, so I just basically take the three fingers to the left here to go back and then to go three fingers right to get back where I was so I kind of talked about that in the first uh, video as well so again you can really kind of duplicate or reuse gestures in um, in better touch tool because what you'll find if you become a power user with this thing you're going to run out of even though it, it offers a lot of gestures and actions you're going to run out of gestures after a while and so you have to really start thinking uh, strategically about how to use those gestures and how to use them so that you can remember them. So anyway, hopes that helps. Thanks a lot uh, for watching.